everyone welcome back to the channel tripping with the browns so it is currently 5 21 in the morning me and the old man out here we're all packed up this is the setup we have the single axle trailer with our truck and where are we head today fort smith so we got about a nine nine ish hour drive to fort smith there's two of us so we'll see how things go we may go further but Fort Smith is our uh, baseline we're trying to get to today and I'll keep you guys updated on things we pass maybe even try and do a montage and figure it out but come on and join me along and the old man and join us on this ride made the first stop there's really nothing happening right now it's all just kind of long highways and empty farm fields that's kind of what we're on right now we'll keep you guys updated on our next stops and we're gonna get going down the road here we're almost to where are we almost at uh well we made it to tupelo tupelo so sweet Sweet. Just passed through Memphis. About to cross into Arkansas now. Pretty cool bridge. How's the drive going, bro? It's going. Making pretty good time. Crossing the Mississippi River. Here we are in Arkansas. The speed limit. Sweet, pretty sweet. Give you guys an update here in the next couple hours. And we are now at our uh, second stop on our day one trip. We're eating at some firehouse subs over there. Everything's been going quite swell. No major problems. Just been cruising along on some boring roads. How's the drive been? You ready to ready to nap now? It's my turn. Yep. Yeah. Let's do a little resting while you Just do a the little driving. Resting. Yeah. So yeah. Get some firehouse in us, some grub. We'll get going. So I'll catch you guys when probably when we get to our next spot for tonight. So see you guys in a little bit hey everybody we're uh, still on day one here we're uh we're just about approaching oklahoma now so we've been on the road i think for about 11 hours i don't know we started at 6 a.m so it's about uh quarter after four but now we're in uh, central time so but uh, yeah we're about to approach uh, here and then we found a campground that we're going to stay shortly after that for the night called uh, Catfish RV Park. So that ought to be pretty exciting. Uh, I haven't ever been to it or nothing. So uh, that uh, I guess we'll uh, next video will be from there. And then plus the sign coming up. Yeah, and not much exciting uh, driving through Arkansas. I hadn't seen a whole lot here on I 40 most of the way. Other than a horse. Yes. That's about it. Some horse head sticking out of a trailer. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> oh, there it is. Right there, Oklahoma. Oh, but we did we did have an interesting thing. We went to the sub shop for lunch, and we saw some guy go ballistic on the uh, the guy working <laughs> the cashier because I guess they don't have any change there. There's a big change shortage. And I don't know, he didn't, the guy, customer didn't see the signs, and then the, the guy told him that, yeah, they just rounded up to the nearest dollar if you're paying with cash, because they don't have any coins, and, and the guy, did, he got all, he got all mad as heck and said, this is, this is bull crap, I'm out of here, I can't believe this, so you'll never get in my business again, and ran out, so, anyway, so just be aware if you're paying with cash that maybe they don't have coins, so, it's not the end of the world. He was a very angry man. 
All right, well, we'll let y'all know when we reach our next destination. What's up, guys? Making our next, hopefully our last stop before we get there. The old man had a pee. He's uh, he's enjoying lounging here, being lazy. No, nah, not really. He drove most of the time this morning. But uh, at a rest stop out here in Oklahoma. The roads here are god awful. Probably one of the worst roads I've driven on in a while. It's like riding in my old truck suspension. If any of you guys know me, I had really crappy truck suspension. But uh, yeah. So uh, I might do a, a little run through of what we have set up here. We have a uh, for those of you who don't know. This is a 2016 Dodge Ram 1500 Sport with, uh, it's got some wheels on it, some Moto Metal, I think 962s on 33 inch Nitto Ridge Grapplers. And that's really the only big mod on the truck. The camper we have, it's a, uh, it's a runaway camper. So, basically all it is is just I'll put a link in the description but it's just a little box with a California king size bed in it and a fridge and kitchen area in the back but uh, I'll go into more detail once we get to our campsite and when people aren't staring at me while I record they're looking at me like I'm crazy but yep that's where we're at so uh, I'll get back in touch with y'all here in a little bit What's up guys? We have finally made it. Uh, so, we have finally made it. This is where we stop for the night. Roundup RV, parks, gifts, catfish, barbecue, and shrimp. The site is back there. We'll take you to the site here shortly. It was like 12 and a half hours of driving and like 860 miles, I believe. We're out here in Oklahoma. Oh, it feels good to be out of the truck. Just for a little bit. Thoughts on the 12 and a half hour drive we just did? Oh, not bad at all. Went, went pretty good. So, we're over here at the old Catfish RV park. Heck yeah. It's all right. Place to sleep for the night. Yeah, nice cement pad. A couple people rolling up. Get a shot of the... Set up. So yeah, wasn't so bad. Yeah, it looks like they got a. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a uh, bathhouse here. So if not, they got a, a truck stop <laughs> over there. So maybe tomorrow, you guys can tune in and see how our uh, truck shop, uh, truck stop shower went. A truck stop shower. I always wanted to do one. Uh, I bet the boys will love that one. I can cross that off the bucket list. So. <laughs> uh, well, that'll be a fun one. Well, alrighty. We're gonna go check in here and thanks for thanks for blowing up next to my ear and ruining my video. Alright, stand by. We'll be at our site shortly. Check in for the ticket spot. Good evening, guys. I hope everybody's doing great, having a great day, great night. Uh, we just finished up at eating dinner, and we're standing behind the setup. How do you want to rate this uh, restaurant? You like it? It was good. Yeah, it was pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. They had uh, they had these uh, fritters that had like apples and oranges in them. Man, they tasted really good. So I, I, that that is that what was, this place is known for too. Yeah, so. they see a lot of people come for those and the catfish, and that's what we got. And uh, it was good. I'm just not a huge catfish fan, so, <laughs> so I can't say. Uh, uh, but there was a lot of people in there eating the catfish, so. Uh, Heck yeah. This, this place, uh, you can't really even see it. Lighting's god awful. But what's this place called? Roundup? Roundup yeah, RV fish, Park? Catfish Roundup RV Park, yeah. Cool. Well, it was a great stop. We are in what city? This is. Prague, or as uh, some people have, I've heard call it, 
Pragu, <laughs> but but it's uh, it's Prague. I don't know. I'm not gonna put anyone on the line and say who who maybe said that. But, uh, I wonder who. Yeah, but it's uh, Prague, Oklahoma, and it's just outside of Oklahoma. We're on I-40, right outside of uh, just east of Oklahoma City, maybe 50 miles. 50 40, miles. 40 miles, something like that. So, so how much drive time we got on our hands tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we're just going to do four hours because we're heading hours. over to uh, the big uh, big Texan Steak Ranch. So yeah. they got an RV park there and I know they got a bunch of gift shops. Awesome. And uh, that's where they got the all-you-can-eat five-pounder steak. Uh, well, it's the, it's the five-pounder. If you, it's free if you eat it all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I ain't I, I, it. I, I'm not going to eat much. I'm already hopefully fat there'll be some, They put you on a stage when you eat it, so hopefully there'll be some people there doing that while Ooh. we're there. You got a little uh, stage fright in you? No. Well, I know man versus food has been there, so that's kind of the big thing. But it's like seven two ounce steak, and uh, Jeez, so that should huge. be interesting to see. Definitely beats twelve and a half hours driving. Yeah, yeah. So it, <laughs> like I said, we knocked out a lot of it this first day, so that was good. So it was a short day tomorrow, and then uh, after that, then we're gonna go on to Durango. So Durango. again, this we're in uh, we're in Pragu, Oklahoma. <laughs> So, you can mark that on your, uh, your little map or whatever. It, it's not Prague. Yeah, I know. But that's, yeah. I'll be honest with y'all, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> but I'm really bad at my literacy, so I apologize. No, it's all good. But this is a, like you said, this campsite, nothing not, nothing super special, but uh, great for an coming. overnight. Yeah. Uh, like you said, restaurants right here. and uh, Oh, and don't forget, tune in tomorrow because... Uh, just from what I've seen in the, the bathrooms here, I think I'd rather go do the truck stop uh, shower thing. So, oh, we'll looks go. like you guys are in for a treat. So that's our, that's something we can knock off our bucket list. I'm, I know that's on everybody's bucket list. Showering at a gas station. Have a truck stop shower. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, all righty, guys. See what we're gonna. It's all about. <laughs> all righty, guys. We're gonna end it off here. Uh, tripping with the Browns. Signing off for tonight.